Hi everyone, welcome to my video. I'm a Linux user but also a macOS user. So today I'm going to show you how to make Linux GNOME look like macOS Big Sur. If you enjoy it, please press like and subscribe to the channel in order to support it. And don't forget you can press the alert button in order to get notifications about all the videos I'll be publishing. Now, let's do it! Ok, in order to make our uh, Linux look like Mac OS Big Sur, the first thing we need to do is to visit this gnomelook.org website so you can download icon, team, uh, files in order to do so. We have here a collection called White Sur. I will download it. This uh, tar file is not that big I will save it so I can extract later download also the white sir dark file and check the links below where you can uh, have access to all the direct links so you can make your own uh, project now let's download the wallpaper so we can have the complete look, the standard look like uh, Mac OS Big Sur. So we are done. And now let's move to the command prompt and extract all the files. Using tar, command, I will extract the first file. Let me show you the folder content. You can see that I have already a folder I will move to the slash USR slash share slash teams now the complete folder was moved let's take care of the next file the next one to be extracted so tar minus xf will be the white sir dot tar dot xz another one I'll be moving but first I need to create a folder at slash usr slash share slash wallpapers after I create this folder now I will move the folder to this uh, location Ok, now let's uncompress the third file, this with a bigger name and move it to its final destination. Ok, MV and the folder name. I will move both to the same location and I will delete the other one later if necessary okay so white sir minus dark also be moved and we are done extracting the three files and moving them now we need to install some extra software so we can uh, deal with these uh, graphical uh, tweaks and the package name is gnome minus tweaks let's install this package it's quite small and fast to install we are done. After this, we need to install some other extra software packages. So apt install gnome minus tweak minus tool, also a small package. Now let's install another package called gnome minus shell minus extensions also very small and fast so we are done with it now let's install plank this is a doc software we'll be using 
it's also a small one so it will be installed very quickly now uh, let's log out restart the machine and see if everything we have installed is working properly so we can move on with the remaining configurations this won't take us too much time i'll log in now and after that i will go straight to our control panel so here you can see that settings is roughly the same nothing has changed so let's call Twix application okay and let's start changing these configurations for teams I will choose white sir dark I will not change my cursors but you have them available and my icons are being changed also to white sir dark okay now to test this out as you can see something has already changed let's restart our session i've logged out let me log in again and see how it looks when i log in how we'll now call settings so we can add a new picture to our background this one was also downloaded and represents the big sur standard background the picture i'll go to my folder usr share and now let me just give permissions to the themes folder so we can have access and select the necessary picture so sudo chmod ho plus rw slash usr slash share slash wallpapers okay now let's select the wallpapers folder select white sir contents and then select the image folder and inside you have the full size picture to have to our background here it is let me select it and as you can see we already have a nice big sir background image now it looks already similar to the big sur let us take care of the dock plank software to make it a little bit more usable in this case let's take care of the startup so we can add plank to our list of uh, applications that will run automatically as soon as we log in into our graphical environment select the correct folder in this case slash usr slash bin and look for it and here we have blank and the correct path is already set now let's make a short comment and press add button and close the next time you log in you will have blank available for you let's log off okay and when we come back we will sure have it completely functional and here we have it now what we need is to make a short tour to make sure everything is working properly first i have made a new fetch comment for you so you can see the windows manager uh, team and the team we have uh, chosen for our uh, big sir like 
environment and the rest of the hardware properties. Let me open this browser for you to give you an idea how it looks to use Ubuntu with GNOME looking like Big Sur, a document in LibreOffice also. Let's arrange the window properly. Okay, looks nice. You can see the buttons to close, to minimize, maximize. They really feel like Big Sur, the top menu. Let's open here the rhythm box application looking nice also let's mix it up and there you have it a very nice desktop environment looking like mac os big sur a very nice configuration that feels really feels like we are using it that's it guys i hope you have enjoyed it please comment below any doubts or questions you might have and please press like and subscribe to the channel in order to support it. I hope to see you again on my next videos. See you all. Bye-bye. Thanks.